What is up, Cratics? Welcome back to a series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in my next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Enus Cognoscenti 55. So this car came out with the Executives and Other Criminals update in December of 2015 and can be purchased from a Legendary Motorsport website for $154,000 for the regular one and just under $400,000 for the Armored variant. Now I do want to mention right out of the gate here guys that this vehicle basically has no visual customization which is a bit unfortunate but it sort of makes sense considering it's a sedan from 2015. Now the Cognoscenti name was first introduced in GTA 4 and it was also featured in Chinatown Wars as well. And of course, the one from GTA 4 is almost identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Now there is also a normal Cognoscenti in game as well, which is basically just a longer wheelbase version of this one, and it's a bit slower. So the 55 variant is the faster one, and it's a little shorter. But anyways, in terms of performance, the Cognoscenti 55 is in the sedans class and is around 15th place for performance in that class depending on the track. And of course, the armored variant is a bit slower. But anyways, in terms of what the Cognoscenti 55 is based on, it's primarily based on the first generation Bentley Continental Flying Spur, just a very classy and luxurious car. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Cognoscenti 55. Alright, Cognoscenti 55. It's a dance class, of course. Okay, we got armor, brakes, engine, uh, lights, do some xenons, plate. I do have a plate for this one. Uh, where is it? There it is, Bentley. Perfect. <laughs> so for color for this one, um, I do want to use that that same kind of like dark blue that we used in the I think it was the exemplar video uh, from last week. So I like that color a lot. I think it will look really good on this car. Um, so it was a metallic. I think it was a galaxy blue. Let me go here. Let me see. Not in the green section, here we go. Galaxy blue. So yeah, it's basically a darker version um, of the dark blue and somewhere in between midnight blue. I think it's perfect, so we'll do that. And then we'll do the same pearlescent with that same look, uh, which is the the diamond blue right there. Look at that. Yeah, this thing in the sun, that color is gorgeous. Nice, dark, classy color. I think this suits this car very well. Not something too bright or flashy. I think it works very well on this um, secondary color we are gonna brighten it up a bit so secondary is of course uh, the hood roof and the trunk area so really nice separation there. I like the way they do that um, and for this we're gonna go to metals and we're gonna go brushed aluminum I think that looks absolutely gorgeous on there the dark blue with a really bright uh, silver on top I think it's just a really nice look um, trim color in this car is the interior so you can see you got its seats, all that stuff. Very, very nice. Um, for this, honestly, I think I'm going to go with, with white. I think the white will look good. I think maybe the ice white's a bit too bright. We'll do a frost white. Should we do the ice white? Yeah, it's a little too bright. We'll do the uh, frost white there. I mean, that looks really good. Um, Crublum for this car goes on the doors. Okay. Suspension, definitely going to lower it. I don't know about all the way though. This car is a really pretty low stock. Look at that back wheel. I mean, it's <laughs> it's not a. Uh, I mean, the ride's pretty low already. I, I don't think I should lower it that much. Um, hmm. I think street is fine because I mean, this to me looks a little ridiculous. Is <laughs> it a little a little too low, especially in the rear? Um, so I think we'll do like the street suspension. That's fine. Transmission, turbo, wheels. Um, so for this car, I'm going to go to the SUV category, and I'm going to throw on here the Sunrise. So this car has a ton of chrome all over the place, um, and these wheels have chrome on the lip and chrome, uh, you can kind of see it there in the center of the uh, spokes. I mean, it just looks 
really, really good. At least this, I think, at least I think this one has chrome in the center of the spokes. Let me see here. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, so it's got like chrome there in the, in the center of the spokes, or maybe that's just alloy. But yeah, I think it looks really good. And we are gonna keep the alloy color. I think it works very well with our secondary and all that. So definitely the best look there. Uh, I think the white just looks. Yeah, the white does not go with it. Definitely the alloy. Um, and then what are we missing here? We did turbo wheels. All right, so windows definitely limo. You have to have that on a luxury car like this, right? Um, that's all the options there. All right, I think I think that's gorgeous. That's a good looking Bentley. Hell, I drive that. <laughs> all right, let's exit to ground here. It looks fantastic. To the sun. Oh, that secondary pops. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Very, very happy. Maybe the interior, I think I might put it back to black. The white does look good, but I don't know. I think it will look better in the black. And I didn't, I didn't want to do like a brown or a tan or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, the white doesn't look terrible. But I think the black would look a bit better uh, with, with this kind of build here. Now, something very cool about this car. Some other cars have it in game, but it's very few that have it. Um, this car actually has uh, the sound is reduced so the noise outside is reduced when you go to first person inside the car So right now you can barely hear anything outside Even the, the sound of the exhaust under the car. Listen to how quiet it is Super quiet. I mean, it's pretty incredible when we go to third person look at the difference <laughs> So pretty incredible got like uh, I mean, it's really cool the way they did that. I wish every single car in GTA had that. Uh, well, not not every car in GTA. I mean, every luxury car in GTA. Let me specify. <laughs> that that'd be really really sick. But that's a nice touch they did there. I like that a lot. Nice peaceful drive in first person. Yeah. It is pretty good too, because I mean, you can take like a drive around the map. I know sometimes people who are bored, they'll just take like long drives around the map, just listen to the radio stations in game, and this is like perfect for that. Stay, stay in first person here. It kind of, you know, drones out the noise um, outside and then kind of just listen to the music and drive along the highway, <laughs> which is kind of fun. And and the Kong Senti 55, um, I believe, is the fastest car that has that, if not one of the fastest cars. I know it's the fastest of the four-door Kong Sentis. The Cabrio is quicker, but I'm 99% sure the Cabrio does not have this uh, noise reduction in here. Sounds so good. Very insulated from the outside noises. The only thing it doesn't block out is the voices of AIs. That's the only thing they kind of coded wrong there. But other than that, it 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 um it drones out everything else, which is very very cool. So let's hear it from third person the exhaust note here. Yeah, this, this is a big car, and and the regular Cognoscenti is even longer. This this is the. The 55, which is the shorter one, so <laughs> it's, st it's still a big, big, big car, though. And it drives exactly the way it looks. A big, heavy sedan, which I'm fine with, honestly. That's the way it should drive. Now, I, I, I obviously, I do wish it had a visual customization. Little things, not anything too crazy. Maybe like a little ducktail spoiler. Um, what else here? Maybe a couple hood options. Um... Maybe a couple bumpers. I mean, nothing really too crazy. Some some simple options would be nice. Um, hopefully, maybe in the future we get it. But at least we have all the colors. So you have primary, you have secondary, and you can change the interior color, which I really like. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and pull over here to the Benefactor dealership. <laughs> Show them the Bentley. And let's uh, open all the doors and stuff. It's so classy looking. I mean, it, it is a really, really good looking car. Alright, vehicle doors. Let's go here. Oh. Now, obviously, the, the Deity is a new variant of this car, um, which is a lot better in almost every way, and it's faster. But if you want the older style Bentley, this is obviously a better choice. Engine model, the same exact one from the Cognoscenti Cabrio. They just copied and pasted it. It's a V8 engine model, even though this car in real life has a W12. But... Um, interior there, the, the white looks really good. I'm actually, I know I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I should take it off, but no, actually, it 
does look good. Like when you open the doors, the white with the black carpeting and all that, it actually looks really nice with the white dash. I do like that. Um, texture quality, you know, in some areas is pretty bad, like the back seats, for example. The front seats don't look too bad, but let's go back here. Oh, yeah, no, the texture quality is terrible, terrible back here. This looks like a like an, an uh, <laughs> it's like a, like an unrendered road. <laughs> Like an unrendered GTA road. Like sometimes if the game glitches and you spawn in, uh, sometimes at a certain location, like the road doesn't load right away. That's what, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Maybe a mobile game. That's just terrible. That's really bad. That's 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 one of the worst ones I've seen in terms of trunk texture quality. That's pretty bad. Uh, but the rest of the car looks fantastic. I I like it a lot. Um, and honestly, um, at its price, 154k to me, that's a gift. Honestly, I mean. That's that's really, really cheap for the regular version of this car. Um, I, I think it's worth owning. If you have like a luxury garage or something, uh, I, I think this is a nice addition for that. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.